Hi, this is Len Suzek, and I am your faith coach. Uh, happy May 1st. Back to work, hopefully, America. Um, so, I have this, um, it's like more than a theory. I, I just don't have a whole study done on it with my scriptures, so I invite you to um, do a study about it. But I'm sure that you probably even heard this before. Um, somewhat so the observation spiritually is that um everything that is good is you know based is love based and everything that's evil is fear based so with that in mind i would um first i want to say that i'm pretty sure there's uh a lot of scriptures I just don't know which ones to to prove that so I'm going to start by backing that up with at least the concept of God is love so everything that you know God is he's healing he's deliverance um, everything he gives us is perfect and all that is good it comes from God and also healing works through compassion and, and we're also called to, you know, fear not um, over and over again in scripture. So what I'm saying is um, I, I think that the, the carnal mind, which is, leads to death, fear always, you know, fear and death go together. Carnal mind is at enmity with God and the carnal mind leads to death. But the, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. So our big battle right now, so many people, um, really it's, it, you know, just basically we, are, we live in a fear-filled world. Uh, people call it a fallen world, but I'm gonna say a fearful world, fearful and fear-filled. And our battle is constantly against fear and um, lies. I mean, there's so much lying going on and you know people that are kind of split in their beliefs politically and what's really going on compared to what um what you're being told and all that so back to fear and love um things that go wrong in our bodies are all fear-based i'm saying so if we could constantly you know put on our armor against fear if that was your main goal you would become healthier and healthier huh so let's just talk about first of all you know depression is fear-based um all the mental illnesses and mental tortures are fear everything is fear and now you could you know it, it goes into lying i mean lying and delusion and all that goes together. Fear and lies go together. Anyway, your big battle is against fear because if you're not um, perfectly sound in mind and body, then there's some fear in there is what I'm just saying. It's saying. So I'm, I know that I love and joy and peace are the opposite of fear and those that is what God wants us to have. And um, when we focus on anything fearful i mean i negative things i'm i'm like <laughs> trying to find things to watch once in a while to get my mind off things but i mean i gotta get flip the commercials or if this if the you know show i'm trying to watch is supposed to be funny uh and then half of them are you know full of stuff that's would cause you know me some anxiety instead of being funny so constantly turning your mind away from fear is a battle but it is worth it to keep yourself in peace and keeping your mind mostly just focused on the Lord but the good things about God's character you know constantly speaking God's word that he always gives us a victory so all day long, you know, while we're 
praying for things or um, in battle for others, you know, my my constant goal is to stay out of fear and focus on God's word and victory and um, healing, everything related to love and health and joy. So again, Philippians 4.8, focus on and think about it, all things that are good and lovely and perfect you know good reports keeping your mind on a good report is is a, a real effort so you have to um, basically uh, let's see there is a scripture about battling to enter his rest fighting to enter his rest um, it's it's an effort to enter his rest so you're trying to rest but you have to fight constantly against fear um, fear doubt and you know just we entertain ourselves with fear and we if you're not careful, you'll just slip right into fear and depression if you don't fight it. That's the, the constant battle. And also, when we are in talking to each other, you know, we're supposed to be edifying each other and building each other up. It's always the case. Bringing people bad news is really not our calling. Nobody's calling is to inform people of bad news all the time. So I know I do want to be informed of what's going on. I, we, we have our sources of news that we like, but they're usually, you know, people that like to be on the positive side, and that's our sources. And um, so it's, it's if you're not whole, like I have a battle with um, spinal cord injury that I continue to push against and um, towards more and more healing um, that is going to happen the more I focus on uh, the, the word and the truth so if you're not set free from something like me uh, the truth will set you free so I must be believing a lie and um, there's a lie in my heart that still needs to be you know purged but the way that you definitely always do that by focusing on the truth of God's Word and love and joy just keeping your mind free from fear helps you get the inflow of God talking to you that's another thing you know we wake up in fear we all day long uh, money and the cares of this world drive you to fear but um, so stay in a battle to focus on things that are lovely and of good report Philippians 4 8 um, stick with the, the good news good news that we have the victory God always gives us the victory and believing and choosing not to be in fear and feeding yourself um, constantly good good news and edifying each other and building each other up instead of giving people bad news right so I pray that you will be tuned in to um, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, that you'll be tuned in to good reports, that you'll be tuned into everything that is love-based. And you know, you'll notice the difference in your mind and your ability to think when you um, keep your mind focused on good. And that's, you know, God, your, your um, mind focused on God which is he is good if you have a correct understanding of God you'll know 
that focusing on him and talking to him would bring comfort. If you have a, a, a bad uh, image of God, that would not bring comfort, so that's a lie bringing you into fear. God is done judging you. He's put all that on Jesus, so that's what you're supposed to focus on is how that God isn't judging you anymore and that you're free, you know, you're righteous in Christ if you are, which if you're born again, your righteousness comes from God. Your, your righteousness is God's righteousness. He, he bailed you out and put his royalty, his righteousness on you. And this gives us comfort and peace. We are right with God immediately as you give your life to Christ. And this causes healing and deliverance and everything else. So keep on focusing on all the good attributes of God and uh, the love-based thoughts. Amen. And keep um, using those scriptures to fight off fear. Amen. Do what you got to do. Amen. Thanks.